Hello Pokemon trainers and welcome back to my series Exploring Pokemon where I will take a look at anything and everything in the Pokemon anime. Today I will look at what is the best Pokemon arc. Pokemon has been airing for over 25 years going through many regions with Ash mainly at the forefront battling against hundreds if not thousands of trainers. The question today, what is the best arc? We have had many regional leagues and even one of them resulted in Ash winning. We've had the Battle Frontier, Orange Island and many more. It is so hard to choose and my answer may surprise you. I have been watching Pokemon Journeys recently and it was because of this I wanted to make this video. You see recently in the anime there have been the World Coronation Series and more importantly the Masters 8 where the top 8 of thousands of trainers that have entered go head to head. All of them are familiar faces to the long running series. This has been built up over the entire series of Journeys and for it to come to the final 8 of the very best. Journeys is perhaps the most adventurous Pokemon has ever been with its main TV series. This part of the series spans over 17 episodes and is non-stop action. Now if you are old as me or have at least played most of the mainline games, you will recognise all top 8 players, where they are allowed to use one of the following per battle, Mega Evolution, Z Moves and Dynamax. This is not something that has been done before where all the champions of the past regions are together to battle it out to decide who will be crowned the best Pokemon trainer in the world. If you are a Pokemon fan, the sheer concept surely excites you, no matter how old you are. So what makes it the best arc? This is a tournament arc, a main staple of Battle Shonens, and Pokemon is no stranger to this either. We obviously focus our attention on Ash and Pikachu, and the question looms over, can Ash go all the way? Ash has only won one Pokemon League title up until now and it really is anyone's guess if he has potential to take down any champion in his way. We get to witness every battle in the tournament. What I really enjoyed about the tournament is how most of the time battles felt very close to the game. As someone who is heavily into competitive Pokemon battling, I know a lot of moves inside and out. So when we see moves doing what they are meant to do in game, it feels that more fulfilling. Like how a Dynamax move cannot be protected or showing the secondary effects of moves such as raising speed. Obviously it cannot be like for like with the games, as the games are turn based and it would not have a great flow for the anime, but I feel this more than ever respects the moves as they are in the game. We are treated in many battles and one is not just involving Ash. I would like to look at the battle between Cynthia and Iris. The battle itself gets heated pretty quickly as the two exchange blows, but I think this was a turning point for me when I realised that this arc could really be the best. Once the Pokeball containing Garchomp was thrown, that is when it all changed. The music news sent a chill down my spine. We see their trump cards go head to head, Haxorus vs Garchomp. They exchange a few blows until Cynthia reveals her Megastone. How she does this is amazing. She takes out her lipstick, uses it and flips it to reveal the stone. Again, the music highlights how grand this is. It sort of reminds me of music from Formidable Alchemist. Whilst the games no longer use Mega Evolutions, the anime still does. You can really feel the grand power of the two Pokemon through the animation. The two continue to attack until Garchomp's Draco Meteor was too much for Haxorus. Whilst there are many great battles, I believe this one to be the one that shows how serious this tournament is. The music throughout the arc has been fantastic. It is news to show each champion showing off their Pokemon, giving such intensity to the battles. Even more so, it loves to use the first ever opening of Pokemon. We first see it in use when Pikachu uses his Z move against Steven. This was only instrumental, but to hear this after over 25 years is amazing. It is also amazing seeing Ash face off against Steven, for what seems to be the first time we see Ash against an iconic champion. Ash continues to advance through this tournament, as he uses his father's son Kamehameha with Lucario to help defeat Cynthia. Then comes the final, the final everyone has been waiting for. Ash versus the undefeated Leon champion of Gala. Up until this point we have had amazing battles, but even before watching, the expectation for this would be even greater. Leon allows Ash to use all three of Mega Evolution, Z-Move and Dynamax, 
Whilst Leon is still restricted to one, we see many fierce battles between all their Pokemon. I feel particularly in this battle between Ash and Leon, we see their Pokemon with their own characteristics. Inteleon very much is an elegant James Bond. Mr. Rhyme is goofy skating around. This is allowed to happen more due to the fact that the battle spans over four episodes. We see all this explosive action right until the last episode. And speaking of the last episode, this could honestly be the best Pokemon episode, period. The main portion of this episode is Leon's Charizard versus Ash's Pikachu, with all the battle mechanics used up. The two most iconic Pokemon in the whole series go head to head, a battle for the ages. OLM put all their budget into the animation for this part of the episode. The fluidity of this battle is something unknown normally to the Pokemon TV series. Genuinely, it was not clear who would turn out on top, and with move after move clashing, the first to fall loses. The bit that was so surreal was Pikachu breathing heavily. No music, no dialogue, just breathing, with everyone watching. At this point, I thought this was it. Ash has lost plenty of times before. Perhaps this is a step too far for him. Pikachu goes down, it seems to be over. We are treated to a trip of nostalgia, when Pikachu pitches all his past companions from every generation supporting him. Pokemon Journeys has always respected past generations, and this is the first time since episode 13 where we see all of Ash's Pokemon in one episode. That is 1204 episodes later. This also triggers Pikachu to believe in himself and recover from what seemed to be the final blow. We are hit with a rush of goosebumps as the very first opening plays. This is a final attempt to beat Leon. The voice actors put in so much effort into the series and it really shines through in this part especially. The voice actor for Ash has always been great and hearing him shout classic attacks is outstanding. Leon's voice actor is commanding and will come no surprise that they voice Jotaro from Jojo. The voice actor really gives Leon another dimension to his character. We truly believe he is the undefeated champion. The animation for this part in particular is so good. Not only for the Pokemon series, but for anime in general. I spent a while trying to find who animated this episode, and there's no clear indication who did. However, Shude Yusuda has been the animation director for the whole series. This minute and a half was truly special. The final clash happened and led to the victor standing. That victor was Pikachu. After growing up with Pokemon all my life from the very first episode, seeing Ash and Pikachu finally achieve to become the ultimate Pokemon champion is something I cannot describe. 25 years of his journey to achieve this dream has happened. Is this the end for Ash and Pikachu? They have achieved their dreams, where do they go from here? With Pikachu being the face of Pokemon, I highly doubt it. But there are only a few more episodes left for Pokemon Journeys, so we will find out sooner rather than later. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed, please do like this video and subscribe for not only more Pokemon content, but also anime content. That is all from me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.